Hi, good afternoon. It's Simon at Vans today in Worcester. I'm going to give you a quick video walk around of this 2015 on a 65 plate X Sky television Volkswagen Caddy. It is the Euro 6 2 litre TDI version as well. So, very, very desirable from that point of view. Uh, and they come with a great specification fitted to them as new. So, although it looks like a start line model, um, then it does have full electric pack, electric windows and electric heated mirrors. It has air conditioning. It has factory sat nav. It also has factory parking sensors. Um, obviously the Rhino racking on the roof and racking in the back of it as well. It is the later facelift model as well, being the Euro 6 2 litre TDI. Uh, they're 102 brake horsepower standard. We can actually remap these vans to knocking on the door 200 brake horsepower. I think they come out at about 190 brake horsepower through our Pendle Performance remap franchise. Do your homework on Pendle Performance. He's got a very good reputation in the business. Knows exactly what he's doing. He's not a cheap remap. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's give you an idea of what this van is like from a condition point of view. Overall, not too bad, I have to say. Um, it's, as I say, a one keeper from new vehicle. Sky maintained them through the uh, Volkswagen dealer network um, and uh, they come with warranted miles. This one has covered 86,000 miles from new. Uh, obviously, when they're used by Sky, they have a full wrap on them as well. We've all seen them driving around, haven't we, with all those. Uh, the full wraps on them with the latest TV programs on. So the paint works generally pretty good. A um, couple of minor dents and dings, I'll point them out to you as we go along. So we have this rather substantial um, ladder rack system. Uh, you can remove it and just leave the three Rhino roof bars on there if you want. Or if it's no good to you at all, we can remove the whole thing for you. Uh, it was a quite an expensive system from new by Sky, um, but um, yeah, not a massive value to them on the second hand market, but obviously it's there if it's of help to you. Looking at the uh, the roof, roof underneath, it's all pretty good to be fair. Uh, roof cone, nose cone on the front, that's all pretty good. Coming down to your front windscreen, uh, no major damage to your windscreen either, nothing in the way of stone chips that's going to cause either of us any grief when it comes to MOT time. Looking at your bonnet, bonnet's in pretty good condition as I say because they're wrapped um, then the wrap tends to take the pain when it comes to stone chips. Um, I think this is just a little bit of dirt here, we'll have to get a bit of tea cut on it. That's been a couple of days since it was washed to be fair so. Um, but yeah, all pretty good. Passenger headlight unit's all good. Passenger side front bumper corner, we've got a little bit of trim that's a little bit loose there. We'll have to just get that re-pushed in for you but there's no major scuffing on the front bumper corner coming around to the front of the vehicle, your front grills, etc. are all good. Driver side headlamp unit, that is all good, although it does have a scratch on it there, okay? Your front bumper corner, that's not too bad, although there are elements of light scratching on it. They actually show it more on the iPhone video than they do in real life. Have a look at the photos, you'll get an understanding of what I mean. Um, driver side front wing, not in bad condition. We have a little bit of something going on there. Can you just see it on the video? Um, there, probably Dentman can sort it, but there is something going on there. Now steel wheels, I think we're probably the only van dealer that actually takes the steel wheels off and goes and gets them powder coated properly, rather than get a rattle can out and try and paint them. Um, so all four steel wheels are properly um, refurbished steel wheels. Um, have a look around, you'll see that loads of the um, Caddy Maxi vans suffer with corroded steel wheels. And tyre-wise, uh, your side wall of the tyre is all pretty good. It's got a continental tyre on it. Um, and your tyre tread depth is looking pretty damn good to me. Uh, exact tyre tread depth you'll get as part of your PDI. I would say you've got at least 7mm on that tyre. Um, looks as though it's recently been replaced. Uh, driver's mirror unit, that's all secure and good. Your mirror glass is also good. Your door glass on your driver's side, all good with no scratching from coming up and down. Driver's door, again, not in bad condition either. We have a really, really minor mark here and here. Not really stand out though. Uh, we have a couple of chips on the side of your door edges. We'll have to get those touched in for you. 
um, but your door edges aren't actually that bad. Behind your door handle, not too bad at all. Door lock's in good condition, same with um, your sliding door. If I just get down low, you can see on your sills, your sills are straight and tidy. There's no, it doesn't appear to be any damage underneath on those. Your sliding door, driver side, that's all good. Your protective rub strip down the side, again, that's in good condition. And then moving to your rear quarter, your driver side upper rear quarter, that's all good. And driver side lower quarter, that is all good as well. Sliding door rail, that's in good condition. And steel wheel on the back here again, clean and tidy in good condition because it's just been refurbed. You've got a Michelin tire on the back here, it's a cross climate tire. That's an all round, all season tire. Have a look in your arches, those are nice and clean as well, aren't they? And then that tire has plenty of tire tread depth on there as well. Sliding door driver side opens nicely, as you can see. Um, the racking in the back of these vans, I don't know. We end up taking most of them out for every one that we sell. Um, it does suit some people for some purposes. Um, otherwise, empty the whole van out and you've got a nice size space behind it. Obviously, your flooring inside, that's all good. Entry seals and plastics, those are all good as well. Driver side rear light unit, that's all good. Just looking down the driver side of the vehicle, it looks pretty straight and tidy, doesn't it? Those, those minor marks up front that I've pointed out to you, but overall, not in bad condition. Driver side rear bumper corner, pretty good. You've got a really small minor scuff there. Your reflector is all good on the back. As I say, it's got factory parking sensors fitted to it as well. Rear barn doors on the back. High level brake lights in good condition. You've got your security glass with internal security blinds um, and the doors themselves are in good condition. So the rear bumper, as you can see, it's not done a lot of hard work, has it? That's all in pretty good condition, as are your doors and your door edges. A couple of minor chips to, to touch in, but nothing too bad. Got a little bit of something here, as you can see. I almost missed it, if I'm honest with you, almost mistaken as part of the van, but there is a little bit of a dent there or something along those lines. Door lock's in good condition. Opening it up inside, so yeah, the, the system, the racking system is made by Bot. Uh, we all know that they are, you know, very expensive company to use for racking systems. Uh, you know, it's a trick bit of kit, but it won't suit everybody. Internally on the doors, as I say, you've got your security bits here, a, bit, a couple of coat hangers or whatever you want to use those for. There's your jack in there. Um, drawer, shelving, etc, etc. Yeah, yeah, they're not bad, are they? Um, we all know what Sky carry around them. Dishes, isn't it? Um, rear light unit. Not too bad in actual fact. There's a bit of a crack there and it appears to have let a little bit of water in. So I guess we're gonna to have to replace that, unfortunately. Unfortunately for me, in fact, there's a bigger crack there. So yeah, that rear light unit will have to get replaced on it. Uh, passenger rear bumper corner, that's all good as is your reflector on the back there. And then looking down the passenger side of the van, there's a couple of dings on the upper part of the sliding door. It's obviously something to do with what Sky carry in them because nearly every one of them has these dings. I'll show them to you as we get to them. Passenger upper quarter is all good. Your sliding door rail, that's in good condition. There's your fuel flap, locker ball as you can see. Lower rear quarter, that's all looking pretty good as well. Steel wheel this side, again another refurbished item with a continental tire on this side. Arches again, clean and tidy. The tyre itself, Continental, with all good sidewalls and plenty of tyre tread depth on that tyre as well. Uh, sliding door, so, try and get it right in the light, but you can just make out some outies, as we call them, like outer dings. Um, they're not stand out, but they are there. Um, yeah, nearly everyone's got them. Door handle behind there, that's all good. Looking down low, looking at your sills. 
clean and tidy, isn't it? No damage there. Same with your protective strip going down the side. Opening up your sliding door. That slides nicely. You have, uh, what am I doing there with the, yeah, there we go. So entry sills, minor marks and chips from getting stuff in and out. Plastics, yeah, a little bit of wear and tear on there. Uh, a little bit of a drawer that comes back there. Some storage in there and stuff, but yeah, you may be the one of the very few that might actually use this racking. So there we go. You know, level of detail of our prep, just look how clean it is down the side of the doors and stuff. We do clean them all properly. I am a little bit OCD on that. I'm sure my valet will tell you. Passenger door, door glass is all good. Door itself, all good. And then passenger side front wing, that's all looking pretty good. Steel wheel this side, another continental tire uh, with a refurbished steel rim. Again, tire on that side, looking good. And tire tread depth, loads of tire tread depth on there as well. So you've got three continental tires and a Michelin cross climate. There we go. Opening up in the inside, your door cards inside, clean and tidy. Entry seals, all good. Looking at your seat system. So, passenger seat, clean and tidy. You've got airbags on the side of your seats, as you can see. You've got additional storage above your head up there. And then your rubber flooring inside, and that's all in good, clean, tidy condition. Dash, minor, minor, work, you know, marks on the dashboard, bit of wear and tear, whatever here, as you can see. Um, stickers, if you don't want the stickers on, we can remove them. Uh, looking at yeah, glove box in there, book packs in your glove box. Going around to the driver's side. Driver's side door card, clean and tidy with no signs of excessive wear or tear. Electric windows, electric heated mirrors and central locking. Entry seals on the driver's side looking pretty clean and tidy. Rubber flooring, Actrofax, pretty good. Okay, we've had our work boots in and out, getting around, moving it, but there's no big holes in the flooring and your pedal rubbers are all good. As is your driver's seat, driver's seat and trim, etc. That's all clean and tidy. Down here is your bonnet release. So I'll pull that and show you under the bonnet in a second. Headlamps, side lights, main lights, pull it out once for your rear fog lights. Dashboard, illumination here, and then headlamp level is here. <coughs> now, Getting into the vehicle, fire it up. Fires up nicely, as you can see, all the lights go out. It's currently telling me that we have a driver's door open and that the bonnet is open and that my handbrake is on. I don't have a seat belt on and we've got a bit low on fuel. But no other <laughs> warning lights, no, none of the little scary lights. Um, steering wheel, pretty good condition really. Still got most of the original sort of um, factory texture on it. Horns on your steering wheel. Trip computer, which is in the center of your dashboard, is operated by this button here. It won't work at the moment because we've got, ah, there we go, if I hit the reset button or clear button, just runs you through your computer system of how much fuel you've got in it and all your, your averages of stuff. Uh, wipers are obviously on this stalk as well. Uh, wiper uh, intermittent is on that stalk. And then we've got indicators and lights are on the left-hand stalk. We have the all-important air conditioning. We don't need the air recirculate on. Blower fans, in actual fact, that working? I don't think that's working on one, two and three, which is a resistor generally, so we'll get that sorted as part of the PDI. It would have been picked up on our PDI anyway. Where you want the air blowing to there, temperature for the, for the air there. This system here is a pretty cool system that Sky pay for. You've got DAB, FM and AM radio. You've got Bluetooth telephone and Bluetooth music. Uh, you've got a bit of voice activation. You've got a CD player, remember those? Uh, you've got a uh, factory sat nav. We should have the data card in the office. Just double check with us if you're interested in it. Uh, menu button just runs you through all of your different stuff. But um, yeah, it looks like you've got App Connect on there as well. So uh, oh, I don't know, or have you, have you not? Have a play, no, you haven't got App Connect on there, I don't think. But anyway, it's a pretty cool system that is, quite expensive. 
Stop start technology, there's the button that turns it off. Five speed manual gearbox, reverse gear is all the way to the left and forward and then that then activates your park pilot system. USB power here, you got 12 volt power as well. You got that other thing that nobody ever uses anymore. That's there anyway. Cup holders. Dan, look, look down the side of the seats. There's no old McDonald's or fingernails and all of that sort of stuff there. It's all clean and tidy. Uh, we generally do a seat sound valet on vehicles. Um, your binnacle display, the plastic on the binnacle display is nice and clear. So, you know, that can often get quite chewed up on these things when people leave pens that roll around on top of them. Steering wheel is height and rake adjustable. I'll show you under the bonnet. Bonnet is open, uh, we've opened it on the inside, right above your Volkswagen badge there. Just lift that up there and that opens up your bonnet. And there we go, have a look underneath your bonnet. It's looking pretty clean and tidy, isn't it? Add blue filler is there because it's a Euro 6 vehicle. Uh, air box is here, battery is here, fuse box is here. You don't have an engine cover on any Volkswagen commercial vehicle. Uh, dipstick is there. Uh, windscreen wash, um, coolant levels, uh, as you can see, it's the correct colour for Volkswagen coolant, so there's no contamination there. And there's your fuel filter there as well. That's just a quick rundown of everything in your engine bay. And there we go, 86,000 mile, one owner vehicle. It is the Euro 6, you do pay more for the Euro 6 as opposed to the Euro 5 models. Um, there's none of these things about now. Um, if I'm honest with you, we've, this thing's been sat in the compound waiting to be valeted, uh, so it's been a little bit late to the game, but I can't get any more of these Sky Caddy Maxes now, uh, and this one's looking pretty good value um, at 10 grand plus VAT. So give us a call with Vans today, Worcester, uh, offering nationwide delivery, part exchange and finance. 70-odd um, photos on our website, which is vanstoday.com. Check out our reputation online. We're on Google, Instagram, LinkedIn and Facebook. Um, and if you need anything else, give me a call 01905 672 080 or email me sales at vanstoday.com. Thanks for looking at the video. 17 odd minutes of your life you'll never get back, but hopefully that gives you a good idea of exactly what it is you're buying. Cheers.